Olivia Gray was raising her granddaughter Darcy alone and was trying to give her all her attention and care. She tried to pamper the girl as much as possible and often cooked delicious dishes for her. That day she baked her favorite cake. Watching the girl eating her favorite treat, the old woman thought how much she looked like her mother Anna, who died in a car accident. The subject of girl's father was taboo. According to Mrs. Gray's version, he left Darcy's mother when she was pregnant. It must be said that Darcy never caused problems for her grandmother. She was studying well and especially liked mathematics. She was dreaming of moving to New York and getting a good job. The girl had many friends, but she was especially close with Emily Larson, who, unlike Darcy, was a naughty child. Several years passed, and from a pretty little girl, Darcy turned into a beautiful young woman who had her own opinion on everything. One day, returning home from a walk, she told Mrs. Gray that she had decided to go to New York with Emily. The old woman realized that talking would not help and allowed Darcy to leave. The very next morning, the girl said goodbye to her grandmother, got into a taxi and went to the station, where her friend was already waiting for her. However, the big city did not give the girls a warm welcome. The job search was quite difficult. The girls were endlessly going to interviews, but there was no result. One day, the girls met in a cozy cafe. Look, there are two handsome guys sitting at that table in the corner. One has a Rolex watch. But they're rich, Emily said. And while Darcy was ordering coffee, her friend headed to their table. However, the girl wasn't alone for long, a nice guy sat next to her. He said his name was Jack and he worked at the car repair shop at the corner. They started talking about everything in the world. Darcy felt very easy with the guy and she felt a growing sympathy for him. However, Emily soon approached them and pulled the girl outside. Why are you talking to him? He's poor, she asked her friend. Let's go to sit with those guys. They're stockbrokers. I better go home. I have an important interview tomorrow, Darcy replied. Emily shrugged her shoulders and returned to the cafe. The next morning, Darcy excitedly entered the office of the director of a reputable firm. She turned out to be a pleasant woman of about 45. After talking with the girl, Mrs. Smith decided to give her a chance. But when Darcy reached out to take the contract she was about to sign, she saw the photograph on her boss's desk and froze in surprise. What's wrong? Mrs. Smith asked. Where did you get this photo? The girl answered. Why are you asking about this? The woman replied irritably. The fact is that this is my childhood photo. Only my mother had one like that, Darcy said in a trembling voice. Mrs. Smith turned pale, tears welled up in her eyes and she hugged her tightly. As it turned out, Angela Smith was Darcy's father's sister. She also knew the girl's mother well. Darcy's father died seven years ago from an incurable disease, after which Mrs. Gray strictly forbade his family to communicate with the girl. Angela did not have her own children and she was very worried that she did not have the opportunity to see her niece. Soon she took Darcy to the grave of her father, whom the girl had never seen, and a few days later they went together to Mrs. Gray, who deep in her heart had been waiting for this meeting for many years. Since then, Darcy's life had changed a lot. She started working in her aunt's company and had a successful career in the big city, which she always dreamed of.